Hello. Hi. All right, so we're going to do episode three of season one, Sweet Home. We did episode two together. We did episode one by ourselves. I still didn't get my episode one out yet. Episode two was crazy. I missed a lot. Jesse was just filling me in on the flashbacks. Weird how, they, how they're how they showing flashbacks. Jesse explained because she was just explaining it to me. Pay attention to the colors. It was a, like a fuzzy, diluted, it looked scrambled almost when they cut back to her. It did it really fast, so I'm not surprised that it was confusing at first. I didn't notice. But it was notice. definitely a flashback. And they also showed her with the suicide, I'm talking about, with the yeah. himself. They showed the base. I knew so. it was weird when it was happening, but I was like, this whole show is just weird. So I don't know if they're intentionally being weird or trying to foreshadow something. Early on, when the, the first flashback happened in the very beginning in the car with his family, I thought that was the girl younger and she was having a flashback of herself and her family. Again, it was and, the way they cut it. Yeah, like the thing was just weird how the whole thing happened. But then during the episode, I figured out, oh, wait, that's not her family. That was his family. And that's why he feels guilty. And that's why he went to the funeral. And when she went in the room, I was hanging from the ceiling. Then Jesse said the base was on the ground, everything else. It's just, it's bizarre how they're doing it. But now that I see they're doing it like that, I'll be more aware of flashbacks. Yeah. I feel like I just had to understand how they were doing it. Now that I get it, I'll be more aware of that. Well, see, now, I don't know if they're trying to do that on purpose. Th that's what or, I'm saying. Yeah, like, because, again, the the last scene where he's having his flashbacks of the guy, it looked like he was getting bullied, and then he took retaliation yeah. against his bully. But it could be completely wrong. It was like, boom, 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 boom. Exactly. So many of the comments of the second one said that they give more flashbacks. Like, okay. I think they're doing it quickly and To kind of throw you off. Yeah, 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 that's to be what like, I'm what thinking. the fuck? And then... That's my assumption. Yeah. That's why in the beginning I'm like, you don't do things like that that sporadically and that if randomly. It's important. Yeah. yeah. You just need to know there's past trauma here. Exactly. Like, look out for that in the future. The way I look at it is I've been watching so much TV that if I'm confused, I usually pick things up pretty quick. You guys, if you're watching this, you probably have seen my other reactions. I pick up on things pretty quick and I pride myself on figuring things out. So if I don't pick up on something right away, it's, it's something's intentionally being done that way right. it works with a show like this because it has a good spread of what they're trying like there was one in the beginning one yeah. in the middle one in the end yeah they... and in between everything else is so interesting and so you can follow it so well that it, it's not you're not bombarded with these ridiculous flashbacks yeah i'm assuming it's for a reason and it'll all come together someone said it sways from the webtoon i haven't read past the second issue but i'm gonna check that out after this and see yeah. but they said it sways so i wonder like how much it's actually swaying away from the webtoon because like i said everything that i saw has been covered basically yeah i haven't so... seen any of the webtoon jesse yeah. looked into it when this came out it was good i liked it it was good the bible guy where did he get his katana from I don't know. I'm starting to think. Did they steal it from the stores and stuff? or? Why he did go back. Didn't he go back to his apartment? It was a grocery store. Yeah, I don't know. He could have went back know. to his apartment. Why does he have a freaking katana, like, on demand? I'm starting to think that maybe, like, the whole scene with him and her in the elevator, it felt like he was trying to defend and justify his religion. Like, I have a Bible. I'm not a um, a prophet or anything. And, you know, like, I'm just religious. Like, it was... Now I'm starting to think that whole interaction was very sketchy. Maybe he was covering for having the Bible for some reason. Like, he's an assassin like, or a ninja? I don't know. Ninja? But now I feel like maybe he also knows what's like when... Even when they show that he sees the gangster guy drop the tape... You think, like, oh, he looks at him because that's strange. Why does he have a bag full of tape? Maybe he knows something, though. It's possible. Maybe that's why he wanted that weird guy to stay with them. Wouldn't surprise me he, 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 he might be catching... puts it off like that. Yeah, like, he's very smart, and she's like, you're not even phased by this. He's like, I'm freaking out. Yeah. And he's, like, totally calm. I, see, I thought he I was just he a just... really socially awkward dude, yes. but it could be that, too. I you... think he... No, I think he is a very socially awkward and dude. That's... But, but it covers the, for the fact that he's maybe he's like 
I don't know. Maybe he's like, we're over here, like the gangster guy knows. Yeah. I think he knows too. All right, maybe there I are think multiple he's guys. Because the there. gangster guy definitely knows something, and the dude he had you, tied up is yeah. definitely a monster. Or and something. you think the gangster guy locked them in? You mentioned that. Yes. In episode. Think I think the gangster that? guy yeah. locked so, him in yeah. the building, and I think. The guy they let go is somebody bad. Maybe not a creature or a too. monster. No, I think he, he's I, definitely a creep. Though. Yeah, like why would the that... way he was laughing? I didn't like how he was laughing yeah. when he was answering them. Like, why are you laughing? This isn't. And the fact, put it this way: if the guy's not bad, then the gangster guy is really bad. Yeah. And I don't want to believe he's bad. I believe he's on our side, and he's he might yeah. be like a good bad guy, like one of those guys that's like he's turning. It's right? the greater good. And he might do some shady things, but overall, he cares about people. It's like, if I get paid, yeah, if yeah. I get paid to do it, but I'll do the right thing when it comes down to it. And, and so, which Why means he that. He has 7,000 messages on his phone. Remember when he yeah. opened his phone? Who has 7,000 messages? Maybe he's like a god. It's like Bruce Almighty when all the people were emailing yeah. Jim Carrey at once. Bing, 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 he's a god. I don't know. That just that was really creepy. I don't know why he had 7,000 messages. Unless he just, just hasn't read them in that long. I don't feel... Like, think about yeah. it. If you didn't answer your phone for a month, you'd probably have 7,000 messages. But they didn't messages. say emails. They say messages. Maybe so like why, text like, messages. Yeah, but who has 7,000 texts? If your you, phone would blow up. Your phone if, you but, won't even handle that. I thought this once. When I look at the phone bill, it tells you you send tens of thousands a well, month. Well, you delete them as you But go. I'm saying, what if like he just gave up on social media? He's like, I'm not reading my friggin' phone. Like the world is that bad. He like stopped for like if you didn't read your phone for like one week, two weeks, you'd have thousands of text I messages. I suppose it's just very. Odd. It, it is just. <laughs> it is very odd. The I, guy would have to just like block himself from. Looking at his phone, uh, but if you did it for unless maybe what if he was a, like he's burned? What if he was asleep in the hospital? He wakes up like, in the hospital, right? like <laughs> yes, the walking dead. he wakes up in the hospital because he was burned by something and he knows what's going on and he just doesn't want to look at his phone because he's afraid of what he might see. But it's like thousands of messages because he woke up from a deep sleep. Wow. Something, but I'm trying to like, so. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I don't know. I'm just trying to think ideas. I, I don't agree either. I don't theory, agree. But... I don't agree with my own theory, but it's possible. I don't think there's enough evidence for him to be a bad guy. I don't think he's bad. I, I yeah. I, I think there's something going on there clearly, but I, I don't think I think he's good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think he is. He's good. The Bible guy saying to the creepy guy, um. He's talking about how, like, the guy that they found that committed suicide. Creepy guy says to the Bible guy, yeah, he's been dead for, like, a week. I didn't catch that at first. And when I was editing, he, he mentions, to, like, very blasé, like, he, he, he's been dead I for vaguely a week. remember that. And he looks at him and he's like, how do you know that? And then the guy's kind of like, oh, well, it looks that way, doesn't it? Like, like he can immediately tell the the date of a corpse. Yeah, like kind why? Yeah, like it's just a weird thing. The, uh, it's like he you knows how say, a body decays over time. Yeah, you wouldn't say it like that. You would say this guy looks like he's been dead for a yeah. while. Why would you specifically say he's Unless been he's dead like, for a week? Yeah, it was just really weird, and I didn't catch that at first. And I'm like, now nah, it's even more reinforcement. See, I haven't edited that guy's them yet. A freaking weirdo. I haven't edited them yet, so I I've only seen it the one. That's time. why I like editing it, watching yeah, you it get one to, at a yeah. time. Because it's like you dissect it all, and I understand it better. Watching the snow. Where the fuck did that girl come from? Which one? Did you catch that too? When they're all the neighbors are in the apartment room, and the one guy's like, "Do you have any sunscreen?" Remember that? Yes. He's like, "Do you have any yeah, sunscreen?" Yeah, yeah. My name's Ryu, and do you have any sunscreen? And then this guy, they're all talking, and then the one guy goes, "I don't know you. I don't recognize you. Who are you?" Oh, yes. And she was like, she literally is just like, hmm. <laughs> like, that's all. Like, she's yeah. just like, yeah, like, she doesn't say anything. And then the lady with the Pomeranian is like, she doesn't talk much. Like, she, I don't, says, I think she says something like, I've never seen her before either, or she just moved in or doesn't live here. I don't know. But it, like, that interaction made me feel weird, too, because I'm like, now, who the hell is this girl? I, I do there, remember that. You don't put dialogue like that in if it doesn't mean anything. Oh, no. Anything. That, all this it's means something. Like, exactly. So That's who, why I need to edit mine. So I... Where did she come from? 
I do remember that. I feel like during the reaction, I even said, like, who the hell is that? Yeah, I don't... I want to know, like, what the heck that's about. I also... How did she get in? And... I, that, well, I feel like... I feel Why like they. Why would she just say, "Oh, I wandered in because I saw a freaking monster out there"? Because they've there. already proven like, that sometimes the monsters have intelligence. Yeah. Like, maybe, maybe there are like there are strong ones, fast ones, stupid ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are really intelligent ones that have already like figured out how to blend in. Or like, yeah, like and they're part. In, yeah, and they're like, like um, there. I don't know. Well, you and you see in the first episode with the guy, the tongue guy that attacks. It kind of showed that he was maybe hurting his tongue when he was shaking up and down yeah. on the, so that's why he pulled back and they just walked away he let them go yeah it wasn't like a, like a zombie like i'm gonna keep going for you because exactly. i'm gonna eat you he was just There's like some eh, sort whatever of, I'll some move on. sort of thought process so, yeah they have the ability to like almost problem solve i guess yeah. but lose control like the hulk in a way store guy criticizing everybody for leaving when he he's like we need to protect the the building and then he won't share any of his yeah, yeah, yeah. Assholes. Well, he's an asshole. Yeah. There's two ways they can handle that guy because there are a lot of guys like him in these kind of you shows. You need to use him as a blocker when a monster comes. Throw <laughs> that him. Way, that is one and way. And then run. <laughs> yeah, one way is that you he dies. That was one of my ways. He's gonna die horribly like that. Use him as a blocker and like, like throw him in or something. Or a lot of times in these shows, I feel like they take guys like this and like allow him to to change and become like somewhat yeah, like of a, evolve into a, a like a good dude right thing. yeah because yeah. he's very funny even though a lot of what's funny about him is horrible yeah it's like he's very funny i feel like I'm so disappointed that he's yeah so he's either he's gonna so die funny. horribly or he's gonna do a a switcheroo and stop beating his wife. But if he keeps beating his wife know, and being an asshole, he, he just yeah, I think he's gonna stupid. die. That's he it. Like, and he's done too much now. He's and he's been too much smacking. of a scaredy cat. He's like hiding yeah. behind things when he was going to stab yeah. the guy. I'm like, he's tied up, and you're and like... he's like smacked his wife around a lot. And like, we didn't even see what he did the last time. No. He was basically like, oh, you want to side with them, and the, they left. And the, yeah, yeah. So like, he probably beat the mm -hmm. shit out of her again. So probably. that guy cannot stick around. Yeah, but the last and final thing was when they figure out it's a curse and they're reading it online and we never found out the last line of what they said. Yes. Remember they were saying the nosebleeds? Yeah. And the, the hallucinations, it's a curse, you might as well kill yourself because you're not going to have yeah. come out of it. It says, um, there's something you must know, that is, and then the computer turns off. Okay. There's something you must know. That is. And then that's when they lost the internet. Okay. So what else is there to know? If it's like, okay, so you have hallucinations, nosebleeds, you go crazy, it's a curse, you just might as well kill yourself because there's no turning back. But then, so what, what else is there to know? What would be important? The, I don't know. What if it was well, like, you might as well... Out. Maybe it said like, you might as well kill yourself. Unless you find this ancient flower right? in the hills of the Himalayas <laughs> I mean, or something like that. So it's like, that's, that would have been useful. So now, do you know. think they saw what it was? They It seemed like they didn't even see what it I was. I don't think so. Like, they weren't just not telling us. No. It didn't look like they saw it either. They were it's like, possible, oh, but I, I don't think they've. I don't think yeah. anyone saw it. I think the power went out. Mm -hmm. End of story. Did the power go out at that exact oh. moment for that reason, no, it's actually it's good that you. It's interesting you brought that up because again, rewatching it and seeing all these little conversations that I didn't notice these little blips when they're when the firefighter girl's taking food from the convenience store, they're talking about the power outage, and he says it looks like it's only this building. And she said, like, he's like, I want to go to the breakers That's and see right. if I can have I turn it back on. Yeah. And she goes, it's only this building. She said it in a weird way. So, like, maybe someone knew they were tapping into the internet. Right. Shut them down. Like, I do remember that. I don't know. It was, there's little things that just don't make sense. Like, why would they be the only building then that doesn't have the power? Yeah. Like, and then that guy, like, you think it's the gangster guy tying them in. Like, I, I assumed it was the military, but... Now that you say that, it brings up a good point because, like I said, when the girl tries to go outside to smoke a cigarette, she can't, and then the, he's the there. The girl that he's acts right like there. she might be a 16-year-old hooker. She's creepy. But she's weird, too. I think she's all talk, but we all should right. probably jump in. Okay. Bye.